Uh, hello everyone, Kevin here, and I want to welcome you to this Gobbler's Roost adventure. Uh, now today in the Gobbler's Roost, um, I got a small little project here. Uh, got these 45 caliber round balls here, and uh, I need something to carry them in in my, in my possibles bag. So, I'm going to take this little gourd here and cut the top off. We're going to get the seeds out and I'll make a container for carrying my round balls. And I'm going to patch it. I just happen to have this little bag full of popping corn. And I'm sure that I can get one of these to take the kernels off and I'll get one of these to go in there and act as a plug to hold my round balls in when I have them in my bag. So that's the plan for the day. If you're interested, come on along. Now, the first thing I need to do is... I need to cut the top off of this and oh, I think I'm going to try and cut it. Right about there. I'm going to cut it kind of high up. I can always uh, sand it down on my belt sander to get it to where I want it. It's not the greatest. Almost through. I don't want to. Don't want to break it. My blade's not the greatest on this, so I don't want to break the gourd. There we go. Okay. Okay. I know what I need. You know, as as you can kind of tell, I'm a I'm a proud American. But uh, several years ago, I <laughs> joined the Swiss Army. <laughs> My buddy Brian over at Poverty Hill Adventures uh, talked me into it, and. Uh, yeah, it was a good deal. <laughs> I I use it all the time. I see some seeds coming out now. Uh, let's see if I got try and get in there a little deeper. You know with the big gourds, see I, I grew this gourd. I used to do a lot of gardening. And I grew the gourds many years ago because I wanted to make canteens out of them. I'll have to show you it someday. I made some pretty nice canteens um, for rendezvousing and stuff like that. But the way you'd get the seeds out would be to uh, put some pebbles in there and shake it up. Get some pebbles, especially some if you can, with some sharp edges. Put them in there and shake it up, and you'd be able to get it out that way. Uh, 
this one's quite a bit smaller, so. But I can see still some stuff in there. There we go. There comes some more stuff. Getting the stuff out is the hardest part. <laughs> But these little gourds are pretty neat. You can use them for lots of different things. People make bird houses out of them. Oh, that was a good big hunk of stuff. Oh, I might be done. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it fits in there, no problem, actually. Let's put a few in there. Oh yeah, a few more seeds. <laughs> okay, that'll work. I think we're good there. Okay, so I've chosen this one to act as my plug. Now, what I need to do is I need to get the kernels off because I'm only using the cob to plug the hole. This is old popping corn that I had from my rendezvous days. Put it in a Dutch oven over the fire with a little bit of oil in there. And I'll have some old tiny popcorn around the fire. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if this idea is going to work. The hole is might be too big. I think I'm going to have to come up with something else. Oh, that looks good to me. Okay, so the idea was to use the cob from this here popping corn to, uh, as a plug. I was going to utilize it as a plug for my round ball container. But after shucking a couple of them, I found out that the cobs were way too small. Just wasn't going to happen. So I rummaged around in my possible bag and, uh, Found me a good cork here. And this fits in there right fine. So, let's see how it works here. Oh, I got round balls going everywhere. Uh, we'll put a, a couple of round balls in there and see how it works. I got, oh. Maybe about 20 of them, 20 or 30 of them here. And oh, they just pour right in. Oh, 
that fits nice. Yeah, they're not coming out of there. And it sits upright, right fine. I think this will be a perfect container for my round balls in my possibles bag. Oh, so there you have it, folks. Making a container to hold round balls. I'm Kevin, and I want to thank you for coming along on this Gobbler's Roost adventure.